sky. I only know my heaven is here on earth. Each time I look into your eyes, the are the books that I read each day. You are the song that I sing. Let me sing it to you. Let's see. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Let me tie up a few ends, do a little house cleaning while I got some more time. I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. I appreciate y'all for being out there. Um, soon as some one of y'all volunteer your, um, well, I ain't going to even say volunteer. Because if you're good enough and if you know what you're doing, then you know it's always something in it for you. But um, I really, really, really uh, would like, one of my subscribers to help me and show me what am I doing wrong when I go live and all and I'm not being able to be seen. Okay, so hit me up, shoot me an email. You can hit me at uh, Khadija Anwar uh, at hotmail dot com. You can also hit me up at mental house at gmail. Dot com, okay, and I would really appreciate it. Okay, I think that's enough time that passed. Okay, y'all want to know, and a lot of y'all ask, keep asking me, why you call that the mental house? That shit make me upset. I don't understand why a person would call a program the mental house. Well, I'll tell you what, just keep living. And here's one of the reasons. Y'all check out... Uh, this story, because the transgender who was murdered by her so-called friend, uh, case is now up, up here in Milwaukee, and um, I'll let Ben Handelman and Ashley Sears explain to y'all uh, what's going on here. Man charged in killing a transgender woman testifies in his own homicide trial. Cordell Housie is charged with killing Cache Henderson in 2023. Christina Van Zels is live outside the courthouse where Housie told the jury the two were friends. Yeah, Ben and Ashley, a lot of new information was revealed in the court today, including video that was played that prosecutors say shows Housie recording himself at Henderson's apartment after she was killed. Then we heard from Housie himself, who says he does not recall a lot from that night. So here's what he says he does remember. Did you hurt a person named Ms. Henderson? No. Did you hurt a person named Cachet? No, sir. That's what I'm accused of, and I'm here to claim my innocence. Cordell Housie tells a jury he is innocent. He's charged with shooting and killing Cachet Henderson, a transgender woman in 2023. Prosecutors say he then set her apartment on fire. I'm denying stating that I caused this person's death, sir. Housie says he was friends with Henderson and didn't know she was transgender. She was a good friend of mine, sir, and it wasn't a sexual relationship, sir. It was mutual respect. Prosecutors pulled Okay. interrupt the story too much but I find it very strange that he would out of everything just right away go it wasn't a sexual relationship sir this is the problem when you got down low brothers and they don't want to uh, admit to who they are so they feel by getting rid of your ass that would be the best way for them to forget about who and what you are. Okay, this is what we're dealing with in our community. And we got the nerve to talk about every, every everything else but what the hell is wrong with us. Okay, so check this out. No cell phone records that show how he went to several transgender websites searching for things like a Milwaukee transgender escort the day of Henderson's murder. 
Prosecutors say Housie recorded this video of himself after he killed her. We aren't showing that video because it's disturbing. Y'all want to be there, Bob? But in the audio, prosecutors say it's Housie calling Henderson the devil. The devil did. Housie admits it is him in the video, but that he didn't kill Henderson. He says he was protecting her and that he was, quote, conducting an investigation. Remember ever taking pictures or videos of any bodies? I recall conducting an investigation, sir. During his testimony, Housie kept saying he does not recall much from that February date. Death pulling the trigger? I don't recall that. Both the, the state and defense have now rested, and this trial will continue Monday, where we're expected to hear closing arguments, and then the jury will deliberate. Y'all hear this crazy, crazy dude? He in the woman's apartment, taking a picture. He's on a transgender website looking for an escort. He knows one transgender, that's his friend, and for some reason, when he left her apartment, she was shot and then burnt up. Now, if y'all don't think that mental health is important and that we have a serious, serious mental health crisis in the black community, then I don't know what to say to you. I don't think nothing is more important right now. I don't even care about no money. I don't, I don't even care. What I care about right now is our people are sick. And everybody is acting like just a bag is going to fix it. That ain't what, This ain't what black people used to do. This ain't how we do it. We've always respected people for who they are. Y'all think transgenders and cross-dressers and shit is something new? Huh? I mean, this shit was, is as old as time itself. And, the, and, and whenever y'all become one with that, that truth, maybe you can move forward. Because right now y'all stuck on stupid and dangling on dumb. He's in complete denial, like a lot of men, in complete denial, because I'm going to tell you something, nobody know how to please a man like another man, because another man know exactly what he likes, so that's a big threat, okay, now that's just my opinion, all right, um, so a lot of y'all say, oh, he got to have a woman. He got to have a woman. And he probably do. And he probably got kids. But late at night, when all the world is tucked into their dreams, he walks the shadow. You feel me? So this is what we're dealing with. We are dealing with people who are not are, have driven themselves mad because they can't deal with who and what they are. Okay, I want you say what you want. I want to hear it. I hear. I I hear because because tell me what you think. He didn't told you he don't know nothing about her. He don't have no sexual contact with her. He don't even know why you even accusing him of murder. And his ass is in the house with the corpse. Make it make sense, people. Make it make sense, black people. We need all hands on deck. Because the great erasure is on. It's on and it's, it's, it's in effect. And you just making it easy. I'm waiting for y'all comments below. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share to my channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.